All right, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about the new patch coming up on October 10th for Wrath of the Lich King Classic, which will be patch 3.4.3. .3. And we'll be talking about that a little bit. Uh, so if you like that con this kind of content, just be sure to leave me a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz, and we're just going to jump into it. Now, uh, spoiler alert, I will be kind of giving my opinion towards the end of this about what's happening. and th That may not be as popular, but uh, either way, we'll just go right into it. So, October 10th is when the patch goes live. You're going to have the three new dungeons, the new catch-up dungeons. The Forge of Souls, the Pit of Saron, and the Halls of Reflection will be live on the 10th. That's going to give you a couple of days to farm the gear out of those dungeons before Ice Crown Citadel opens on the 12th. So, you know, you'll be able to get in there and try and pick up some gear from the before Ice Crown Citadel opens, if that's what you want to do. Uh, looks like they're also bringing out a random dungeon finder, which honestly is not a bad thing. Uh, just make it easier to find groups as you're leveling. Uh, I don't figure it'll have all that much of an impact towards the end game, but like I say, that's fine. It'll help you level. Um, they're also bringing out new Titan Rune dungeons with Defense Protocol Gamma, which is probably just another step up in difficulty, which honestly, I mean, the 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 ones they have out now don't really have any difficulty to them at all so i, I don't know if this one will actually <laughs> be a challenge or not we'll, we'll just have to wait and see um so that's pretty much everything that uh i, I felt like was worth mentioning that's coming in the uh, new patch um so let's talk about what you can expect um Honestly, with the trend that Blizzard has set so far with just retailing the fuck out of everything in this expansion and making the difficulty non-existent, I expect that trend to continue into Ice Crown Citadel. Um, I really haven't played much since Phase 1. I, I've come back into it several times, but I'm... I mean, I haven't seen the trend change at all from, you know, phase one when you had 10, 10 man groups going into raids and thinking, oh wow, the difficulty is actually kind of there, you know, we're in here in blues and just a few purples and we're actually having to concentrate and then figuring out, oh, they had the difficulty set on 25 man. So, I mean, that's... You know, that's, uh, that's a pretty big indication of what Blizzard did to this expansion. And honestly, it, they just killed it for me. Uh, this was my favorite expansion, uh, hands down. My favorite expansion out of all of them. And I came into Wrath of the Lich King just really excited and, you know, what, what we got was not worth the time honestly in my opinion I've tried to come back into Wrath of the Lich King several times uh, over the different phases and pretty much found the same thing like uh, I, there there was nothing hard about it there was nothing nothing really worth my time in this expansion that I could find so uh, I I mean, I may be in the minority with that, but honestly, I don't feel like I am. Uh, I play on the Mancrick server on Horde, and, you know, this was, had tons of people on the server, and that just doesn't feel like it's there anymore. There's still quite a few people playing on Mancrick, just not, not on the levels that it was at 
uh, you know, in phase one. I feel like a lot of people have just gotten really frustrated with Wrath of the Lich King and gone on to other things. So, uh, I could be wrong about that, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. You know. uh, so, as far as Ox Crown Citadel goes, honestly, I feel like if you have some knowledge of the mechanics for each of the boss fights, I, I feel like you're going to be mostly fine. Just because I, I don't expect that trend to change. I expect the difficulty to not be there. With the possible exception of the Lich King fight, which used to be a huge gear check back in the first Wrath of the Lich King. But like I say, the way the way they've done this expansion, I, I don't I don't know if I expect that to even be very difficult. So you know, take that for what it's worth. Uh, I, I could be completely wrong about that. That could be a ton of fun, it could be really difficult. Could be really challenging. So Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. That's all I've got for you, though. Uh, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.